Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you remember on the last video, I got caught in a torrential <laughs> downpour. It had been forecast, um, but I thought it was going to be a bit later in the afternoon. Um, I left my brolly at home, I left my waterproof clothes at home. Anyway, we will not be defeated. Um, I've headed to the railway station. I will get shot when I get home because I've spent £16 on an umbrella from Boots. But I'm going to finish this flipping video. Um, it's the last thing I do. It's the railway station there. The river air and the dark arches. On, on one of my earlier videos, I've uh, filmed the other end of that. Uh, you can see where the water the water goes in. It's quite remarkable, this Leeds Railway Station. Uh, built over a river. But not like in the 20th century or this century, but in Victorian times. So I'm going to head back. Um, to where we finished up and see if I can see this blooming um, viaduct that's got a garden on it which is the reason why I've come out today I don't mind getting wet uh, myself um, but as I said on the last video I don't have a GoPro which I believe are waterproof I only have my phone, which most definitely isn't waterproof. Now I know, in some of the other videos, I'm always having a bit of a go at all the modern um, buildings in Leeds, but I think I could live in one of these apartments. I really could. Very pleasant location to see you in the city centre. Poor girl in boots. I, said, I think she thought I was mad. Uh, I went off on one about the self-checkout machines. Is it just me that doesn't like them? So I said to her, I got frustrated by them. And I don't think she understood why. And I said, because it's so much more pleasant standing talking to her or anybody else. See a smiling face. It's lovely. So machines annoy me. It didn't have to come down though. I was surprised how far it was from where I was back to the railway station. So there's just a, a labyrinth of um, of multi-storey blocks to my right. Not much I can tell you about down here, other than it was the Leeds Central Railway Station and Goods Yard. It was car parks and a few modern developments 
Um, all through the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s even, and then as we got into this century, there's been this explosion of, uh, of building. I think I was talking in the last video about I've, I've been wondering what direction the channel should go in but I'm quite happy with the direction it is going in there's a lot of people in the 60s and they write blogs on you know what they gave up and how to change your life in the 60s and what's best for your mental health and physical health for me, I think I've found it. Um, I've come to that realisation that whether I have yeah, five subscribers or, or five million, the fact is I just enjoy um, doing what I'm doing now. Uh, so, this is probably what I'm going to do with myself. Going forwards as they say. I think at some point now I need to head and land as it were. I think if you're not in your 60s, you probably, I know when I was in my 30s and 40s, I had no idea how people in the 60s thought. Um, but what I think, I have a realisation of how old I am, not in any kind of a morbid way just in as much as time is shorter than it once was. So you need to make sure you're offering yourself uh, the best value. If you have hobbies and you can stay busy seven days a week, then and you can afford it and you don't need to go to work for the company, the companionship, the money, and then retire if work has a place in your life as in any of those things friendship, companionship money then try and approach your work in a positive way so I'm back where I was before I went to buy an umbrella ha! <laughs> oh dear been here twice today already. Let's go explore this blooming um, which I'd never heard of the flipping garden on the viaduct. umbrella this though I have to say nicer than the one that's in the boot of the car very 
very pedestrian friendly city this leads cater for buses cater for cars cater for bicycles Always for pedestrians. Anyhow, come back. Get back to you soon because I've already been down here once today. Is it open? Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the red, white, purple, green, grey brick road. Undefeated. By the great British weather. The junction reception, all apartments, viaduct gardens, Wellington Place. That's uh, where we've just come from. Not really got any idea what to expect, to be honest. That is quite, <laughs> quite a climb. Huh. The old, uh, old cabling and what have you. Pretty generic lift, isn't it? It's like the ones they have in railway stations. Oh, quite a shot that way. Wow. It's fabulous actually, I've never, never been on anything like this. Is it? Is there one in London and one in New York? The Junction Secret Garden, this way, no through route. It smells something nice though, it smells, um... oh I'll tell you what it is, <laughs> do you see the fennel? It's planted everywhere in there, the whole, the whole of this area smells of aniseed, my favourite flower, Japanese anemone, honorine jobet. Honorine, what a lovely name. If ever I'd have had a girl, I think I would have called her 
Honorine. It was uh, Mr. Jobert was oh, Monsieur Jobert was a gardener in France in the 1800s, and when that strain uh, was developed, he named it after his daughter, Honorine Jobert. It's absolutely chucking it down. I mean, seriously. It's. I feel like I'm uh, stuck in a time warp. That's where I walked twice. These gardens are delightful. I'm glad I came in September. And this was where I was. I was down there, wasn't I? That's where I couldn't get through. In the direct direct access to um blimey to the flats and that's whole back over there which in one of my future videos I'm going to head out that way and explore and there's an eatery the junk shed Just going to walk to the end because it's something you have to do. With my life, oh, there's a branch here, so it goes off the viaduct, continues that way. Sports pitches, <laughs> games. Could I live here? Depends what the neighbours are like, I suppose. That's the only thing about city centre living. I'm off again at, but I always lived in places where I'm not one for, you know, being in my neighbours. Uh, pockets or anything. I think that's Burley over there, Headingley. Not sure what the church is. Not sure what that church is, but that's Headingley. Burley going on towards Headingley. Yeah, I'm not really one for living in my neighbours' pockets, as it were, but I always think it's nice to have neighbours. Well, you can say good morning to her. I'm not sure what it's like living in a living in a place like this. Whether you ever actually see anybody. Cool architecture. Starts pitch. Cool. The 
see if I can get a cup of tea and something to eat and get back to you in a, a little one. Okay, so how sad is this? Got a chair. Well, I'm going to have my lunch. I love the rain. Blimey. Here we are then. Lunch. Cuban vegetarian sandwich. It's the bottom one on the uh, menu. Looks gorgeous. This is where I'm having it. I'm the kind of only person out. A cup of tea. Sandwich. I can't remember the name of it. It's not peppers. Peppers, cheese and mushrooms. It's lovely. Apparently this place closes um, this week for the winter because it's quite a seasonal restaurant. Um, I guess it's on a day like today. I'll get back to you when I finish my lunch. Lunch was delightful. Uh, if you're ever down this way, um, it, was it called the Junk House? Uh, give them a try. We'll have to wait until next spring to do it. The weather <laughs> is dreadful. I'm going to head back, I think, and uh, although I am quite away from where I want to be, um, maybe when I get back into where the buildings are, won't be so bad. Well, I'm not grumbling because I'd rather be walking here. Amongst these lovely flowers. And, uh, amongst all the buildings. But look at it. <laughs> what a day! I feel a damn sight better now though than I did when I set off this morning. Whatever was wrong with me has been shaken off. I said to the lad who did the sandwiches, nice young fellow, and I said, um, I just asked myself the question, could I live round here? And I, I said I thought it was a young person's sort of a area. And he did point out that it's a, a wealthy young person's area because of the uh, cost of the, the properties. And I thought that was a lovely shot there. And when it came up. And I'm going down in the lift by the way. But yeah. Look at that for a shot.
lift review. Was good. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I made the effort. And that sandwich was lovely. Still can't remember the name of it, but it had mushrooms, peppers, cheese, um, tomato, some sort of dressing. And a lovely cup of Yorkshire tea. Ten pounds. Eight for the sandwich, two for the tea. I guess that's pretty good for. Um, for Leeds prices. If you'd have gone into a pub, you'd have got the same sandwich with a bit of side salad, a few chips, and probably been about £18. very fond of my umbrella in the last half an hour. Um, So as I said in the, I've lost track now, this, today might have turned out to be three videos or oh, oh, one epic for two hours, not two epics, uh, or three shorter ones, but whichever, in one of them, I did say that we are now in the middle of what was the Leeds Central Railway Station, Goods Yard, um, and this is all that is all that is left. The wagon hoist, that's what it was. This steam powered railway wagon hoist was one of a pair that stood on each side of the viaduct leading to the station goods warehouse. They raised and lowered wagons between the viaduct and the goods yard below. Built for the Lancashire, Yorkshire and London, the Lancashire and Yorkshire and London and North Western Railways in the 1850s. The hoist remained in use until the 1950s. It's like a little museum. We might go in. station was the gateway to Leeds for the rail train starting with Queen Victoria through to Queen Elizabeth 
Some of Britain's most prestige trains use Leeds Central Station, including the Yorkshire Pullman pulled by the famous Sir Nigel Presley. In 1954, Britain's first diesel multiple unit trains were used on local commuter routes from Leeds Central Station. The Wellington Street goods yard developed in the 1850s was like an Amazon depot of, of its day. All manner of items were brought through the complex of sidings and the wagon lifting hoist. And the sounds are different sounds. Very interesting. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> ah, look at that. It's got to be today's, um, today's thumbnail, hasn't it? A Victorian Railway identification number. There's the company names of London and North Western and Lancashire and Yorkshire. So did the trains, I guess the trains must have come in here and then they were, oh yeah, I see, that's the mechanism there and that must have been the level where the viaduct was. Steamed up. Highlight of my day. <laughs> the sandwich and those two signs. Three minutes to the Queen's Hotel. I don't think that's well, that'd be about right though, wouldn't it? Central Station wagon hoist opened in the 1850s, closed in the 1950s, and reopened in 2024. Check it out if you're ever in this part of town. Tower Square opened in 2016. I've only ever been to this area once and I came to a lovely little cafe, um, an independent cafe. I don't have a clue where it is now. There you go. The juxtaposition of the new and old, eh? All set against the backdrop of late September rain. Right, let's get back to that railway station. My dad remembered um, My dad remembered going from Leeds Central Railway Station. I'm not sure if he said the trains to Blackpool used to used to go from there.
kind of have no idea where I am when I'm down here until I've come out onto a, a road. These buildings are a nightmare to walk through with an umbrella though. Magnifies the wind by about ten times. Wellington Street down there. So this must be the road to the station here. It just seems to be this um, top end of Wellington Street where the old sort of Edwardian, late Victorian and Edwardian buildings and I left. Everything behind me is pretty much all new. Oh, the station's up there I think. Bar. Oh yeah, that's Wellington. That's Wellington Street through there. Shokuban, rice, sando and coffee. Kicking off. If you ever watch a channel called London Eats, it's brilliant. I never thought I'd spend hours of my life watching a guy on a motorised scooter delivering food to people in London. <laughs> but it's brilliant. And that's one of his expressions. It's all kicking off. Well, it's all kicking off in Leeds this afternoon. Guys, we're at the station. Um, pretty much. Um, come 
concludes today's little adventures um, I'll end it here unless anything interesting happens at uh, Princess Exchange Thanks for watching if you can give the video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy this kind of content, do consider subscribing uh, to the channel. Uh, but for now... Yeah, for now, as I uh, get back to pretty much where I started, um, I'll say cheerio.